Hey everyone, and welcome back to Witch Brain Songs. All right, guys. So I know your first question is, "Cowboy, where's your pretty ass face?" Uh, no face cam today, guys, because I am recording off the phone, uh, live and direct. So um, you'll see me tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just a one-time thing for today. But in this video, I wanted to show you guys the new updates in 4.3. And uh, initially, I wasn't going to make a video on this because uh, I didn't think it warranted it. But after seeing what they've done, uh, I think I do want to talk about it because it's not going to lie, guys. It's uh, one of the better updates they've done. Um, it's not a lot of big changes, but it's a lot of uh, things that make uh, some of the stuff in the game more clear. So um, let's see what they've done, guys. Um, the first update they've done that we'll show you here is they've added a um, a, uh, a little text whenever you get a critical strike and it'll say critical. Now, uh, previously, when you got a critical, it just showed the colors in yellow. But, you know, if you're in a stage where you already have the attribute advantage, like blue over, uh, like green over blue, um, the text was already yellow. So there was no real way to distinguish a critical hit in those scenarios. But now, now it's just um, pretty, pretty dang clear. I mean, it says critical. And I was worried that this would clutter up the screen a lot, but it doesn't seem to be the case, guys. Uh, it's actually very, very unobtrusive. So great work by Caleb on that update. Um, I like seeing the critical, critical strike chance. Um, you know, it, it it's just something uh, very minor, but very helpful. Um, other than that, guys, there is also, if you notice by the combo meter, by my character portrait, where it says 65 at the moment, uh, now there's an indicator that tells you um, that you, you're doing increased damage based on how high your combo meter is. So right now I have a 78 hit combo and I'm doing 3% extra damage. Um, it wasn't like that before to my knowledge. So this is a, actually a mechanical, uh, mechanical update as well to the gameplay uh, systems. And uh, yeah, it just gives you more incentive to get high combos, to not get hit. Um, you'll just do extra damage, uh, 5%, you know, I think it goes all the way up to 10% at 200 from what I recall. So, I mean, a very nice change, guys. I like it. Now, the third thing, I'm going to have to switch characters to show you this update, guys. Uh, let me take care of these motherfuckers first. They're pissing me off. Hopefully, I won't get hit and lose my combo because, see, I don't want to lose my combo no more, you know? <laughs> all right, we're, we take, took care of the Miranda Riders. Let's switch to Byakuya. All right, so I'll show you. We'll, we'll just take a look, all right? Here we go. So now you notice that... Oh, see, I just got hit. But you'll notice that Byakuya's damage numbers, they're flashing. Oh, I really should, should have put more equipment on this character. <laughs> uh, and the flashing numbers now indicate that you have the killer advantage as well. So, I mean, the text is yellow to indicate the, uh, the attribute advantage. And the numbers will flash when you have the killer advantage as well. Very nice update, guys. I was wondering if there was a way that they could uh, indicate that. Um, maybe, like, my, my thoughts would have been they would have done a different color of text. But there's already too many colors in text. And, uh, you know, this is a great solution, guys. Look at this. It's unobtrusive. And it's very clear. I love it. I love it. And this totally would have helped me out yesterday when I did my Nozomi uh, character review. Because I thought, if you saw that video, I thought I was in a stage where I had the killer advantage. Because um, Nozomi's an unusual character. You would assume that she is a hollow killer because she's a Shinigami. But it's not true, guys. She's actually a Soul Reaper killer. And um, I didn't know that. So in that video, I did have to make a, uh, put up a, uh, a note saying that, you know, what I said about her having the uh, killer advantage was incorrect. So... Now it's just clear, you know, you can't, you can't mess it up. You'll know if you have the killer advantage by the flashing numbers. Um, very, very awesome update, guys. I don't know why they didn't do this to start with, but, um, you know, it better late than never, right? All right, so uh, that is... Oh, and I'm going to die now. But anyway, I was done talking about that stage. Anyway, more. Take care of you, take care of you guys with Kampachi. All right, so um, I'm just going to quit out of the stage because since we're done talking about this, and I don't actually have, uh, I'm actually on the go right now, guys, so I can't really come back to edit. So this footage will have to go up raw. 
I know, Bleach Cowboys slipping a little bit, but uh, there is one more update that is kind of worth mentioning, I guess. Maybe. Um, it's an update to the PvP, and what they've added, guys, is the ability to um, make your specials uh, usable automatically. So um, I I'm not explaining that properly, but... Um, We'll just do a quick match to show you uh, what I mean. Well, I'll show you where the setting is first of all. The setting is here in the options menu. And uh, right under gameplay, you will see that at the bottom there is auto special moves in battles. And if you turn that on, which it is by default apparently, which uh, make sure you turn that off if you don't want that, guys. If you'd like to use your specials, like pick the character which uses the special, uh, make sure you turn that off. Um, I guess one other thing I wanted to just mention as a side note, uh, skip special move effects is there as well. Personally, I think this, sh this option should just not even be an option. It should, it should just automatically be, automatically be on for everyone, you know? Uh, there's no need to have this, like, be a choice, in my opinion. But anyway, don't want to get sidetracked. Let's go into a versus battle. And, uh, we'll just... I don't think my teams are properly set up for PvP, so uh, we'll just try to we'll just try to get a uh, a match. Yeah, they're definitely not. Uh, but we'll just try to get a match where uh, we can see this in action. And I'll just pick someone real easy if that is even an option. Um, preferably a red a red enemy. So um, you know I don't die before I get a chance to use the special. All right, here's a red enemy. No, I mean a blue enemy. Whoa, 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 whoa cowboy, whoa. Whoo! Uh, a blue enemy. A Don guy is good. All right. So hopefully I'll survive until the special comes out, and hopefully I'll get the special. So, <laughs> but in case I don't, guys, I'll just explain what's gonna happen. So the special, since I have this uh, this option toggled on. If I get the soul bomb, I don't have to do anything. The computer will automatically use the special ability of the first character in my lineup. So that first character is Kenpachi in this case, which is not ideal, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna survive to get the special. Um, nope, but Toshiro might, Toshiro might if he gets it. And he didn't get it, so, oh did I? That's me, right? Yeah, so right there you saw that my character automatically used the special. Um, which might actually kind of work out because <laughs> that's that freeze cancer, guys. That's that freeze strategy cancer. Uh, I had no business winning that match, but, um, yeah. So it'll use the, 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 the special of the, the, uh, character you have in slot one automatically. Or, uh, if that character is dead, it'll go on to slot two. And if that character is dead, it'll go on to slot three. Now, I don't recommend that you turn this option on if uh, if the order of your characters is important to your strategy. So for my strategy personally, I use one colored character in the first slot and two neutral characters in the second and third slots. So this doesn't really help me out because because it's it's important. The order of my team is important to my strategy. Now if you just run a red, green, blue team and the uh, and you're running the attribute strategy, then the order doesn't really matter. Just put the character. <laughs> I'm stuttering. Just put the character that you want to use their special in the first slot uh, as the leader. Um, and then your second choice on the second slot and your third choice in the third slot. And you should be all right. But for me, it wouldn't work because, um, you know, if Kenpachi uses the special, then I've pretty much wasted uh, the soul bomb. You know, I want Toshiro to use it. And he won't if I have this option toggled on. Um, all right, guys. So... I know I uh, probably was a bit long-winded about my explanation of the uh, 4.3 update. Um, there is one final update to note, guys, and it just has to do with the uh, accessory inventory. And um, if we take a look at my accessory inventory right now, uh, it says I have 353 out of 360. And um, if I'm, I haven't actually looked at this yet, but it should no longer give me the option to use powders. Oh, and balls. Well, maybe that hasn't come out yet, guys. Because um, from what I know, this should not be... These immutable balls should not be showing up here. 
and uh, neither should the uh, the powders. I guess the powders don't show up. Oh no, they do. Um, I wonder if that is not implemented yet. Um, um, maybe that's not in there yet. Um, another part of the update they said was supposed to happen was you should no longer be able to equip um, powders and books and immutable balls as accessories. So let's take a look to see if that's true. Maybe I'm just uh, not looking at the right thing. But here we go. So if I sort, I'll take a look at my black accessories. It's already, oh, oh. It's already on there. And yeah, uh, yep, it's there it goes. It says this item cannot be equipped. So that's kind of nice, guys. Um, I kind of thought that these things right here would not um, take up inventory slots anymore, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, they still do occupy inventory slots. Uh, if we look at the red, let's see if the powder is, it's the same deal. Um, if I can scroll down to it quicker, there we go. So the powders can no longer be equipped either. Um, it's kind of nice. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't make a huge difference in my life, but, um, I feel like that's the way it should be. So another very nice change. Um, all these changes are kind of minor guys, but they're very nice quality of life things. And I think they will actually do a lot to help beginners out. Uh, if you're new to the game, um, you'll be able to see, you know, killer advantages and um, you'll know what accessories you can't equip and um, maybe PvP will be easier as well because the the uh, characters will automatically do their specials. So overall, a home run guys. I love this patch. Um, I, I think these things should have been in the game since it's, since its inception but like I said before, better late than never. Alright guys, well that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Um, Sorry about the no face cam. I, I don't know if that's important to anyone, but I think for this type of video, it's definitely all right. And um, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I think I'm going to do a uh, visored attacks, um, you know, nightmare mode video. Uh, we'll try uh, to do that stage, those stages with um, some unusual characters. All right. So look forward to that, guys. Thanks for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.